Honestly, I think I got two years. The goal is to play at the very highest level. When I step on the field, like, I need to play well today. Like I need to make things happen or I need to just get a job. I don't think I'm ready to be done yet. And me, I've never been someone who's just gonna give up on something that I started. I grew up playing soccer. Back in Lesotho, soccer is very important. It's one of the biggest uh, sport. Kindergarten, playing at recess in Kirkland, Washington. 30, 40 kids just all kicking one soccer ball, and that was kind of where I started playing soccer, yeah. I decided to focus on soccer. Played for my national team, like junior teams. I started out with the Seattle Sounders organization and I played there up until I was about 19 years old. Then I began my first season in college. I actually ended up transferring to the University of Washington. And then last year when Ballard FC started, I joined them. My parents were very, very big on education. They knew I wanted to play soccer. They were not saying, no, don't play soccer. They were just saying, we want you to be safe and secure for, for life because you never know what could happen. My mom was like, after you get your degree, you can do whatever you want. She wanted uh, a place where I could still play and maybe continue my studies. And then USA was the best option because you become a student athlete. This is where I live when I'm here in Seattle. It's, it's a very nice little spot for me. I come from a family of three boys, so I'm used to that. I know how it goes. Yeah! So who's best at FIFA here? Lucia. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 No surprise. Yes, you are. <laughs> I don't think I've actually thought myself as a better player than other people on the field. But one thing I knew I did was work hard. It's a competition, we're trying to compete. Somebody out there is also trying to become better. All I can do is work hard all the time and hopefully something will, will come up at the end of the season. I think it comes from, from my mom. Like, she's the one who, she works hard in everything she does. Like, I think I took that from her. Hello? Hello. Say you could see them. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she wants to talk like every day, you know how I'm doing. If for some reason I just skip a day, she gets worried. Are you still there? What's going on? Like, yeah, I'm still here. Both of my parents were the ones like who pushed me to make sure I finish my studies and make sure I'm I'm playing at the level I'm playing right now. So they're very happy that I'm here doing good. My dad is probably one of my biggest inspirations. Hardest working person I personally know. I just remember my dad always leaving home very early in the morning to go to work. And like, he was always working like after hours, you know, like doing overtime and stuff like that to support me, my dreams and goals, you know, just take me to practice every day, sitting in traffic. For Peter, I did a lot of sacrifice myself. I spent hours driving, you know, but that's, I, I enjoyed, you know, driving with my son next to me, I feel like happy, you know. Peter, I think he born like, like to be a soccer player. I actually remember this one story. I think I was about nine years old and we had this one tournament. The tournament, like, it probably wasn't that expensive. But back then, like, my dad didn't just have $300 sitting around to just pay for a tournament. But my dad did have this gold chain on his neck, right? So I remember my dad, like, took that chain to the pawn shop to, pay, like, be able to pay for me to play soccer. Which I thought was pretty sick, now that I think about it. But, you know, it was kind of sad back then. But now it's just like, wow, my dad did that for me. If I were to make it big, I'd love to help my dad retire. I definitely think I can be a guy who can do that. 
you know, work my way up into a better financial situation. Good evening, one and all, and welcome to Interbay Stadium as Ballot FC plays host to PDX FC for their fourth league match of the season. I'm in. This year, obviously, expectations are very high. We had a pretty decent run last season, but I'm really hoping that we can take it all the way this year. I want to win a national championship with Ballard. Tetsane, Lesotho senior international player, looking for Mejia. Lovely control. The fans are like very, very important. They're actually soccer people, they love soccer. Last year, the fans would have like a Lesotho flag, a Lesotho national team jersey. I'm like, where'd you guys get those? It definitely made me feel like home for sure. Peter is your son? In the Ballard section, like they all kind of know my dad over there and everything. Every home game, like I just look in the stands for my dad. Like I see my dad there and it makes me happy. Kingston rounds his man into the area, onto his left. He shoots and scores! Peter Kingston, a sensational solo effort, and Ballard leads 1 0. Peter Kingston, take a bow, sir. Playing professionally has always been a dream of mine and something that I've dreamt of as a little kid, but I definitely like do feel a bit of pressure. You know, I don't want to feel like I'm letting anyone down. So I would say like the next two years are kind of crucial for me to, I guess, kind of make something happen. And if that doesn't work out, then I think I'll just end up going into real estate. <laughs> I've always wanted to have kids. I didn't think it would come this young. But I definitely think that it kind of like put my head straight, like, yo, I need to focus on my goals. She's the fastest reader I know. <laughs> she flips the page after five seconds. Yep. She's read the whole book. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a bit stressful sometimes, but it's all worth it in the end. You know, I wake up very happy in the morning when I see my daughter, so. Honestly, it's not easy. I do miss my family sometimes, friends from back home. But it's in life, you cannot really be comfortable all the time. You kind of have to get out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself. The goal is to play at the very highest level, MLS or maybe somewhere in Europe. And I think right now I'm heading into the, in the right direction. Soccer has been helping me to travel, see places, make good connections with other people. I have to grow up as a person and I feel like me coming here was actually a very big step for me to get better as a person. My daughter's name is Dea. Something that I think, you know, would be great for her to take away from me is that you can really follow your dreams no matter where you started. I mean, I didn't start out with a lot, but, you know, I got to a pretty good place so far and, you know, I have a great support system and, you know, I have a lot of great opportunities around me, so you don't need much to get started. You just need to start. <laughs> 